on how to go about it if possibly uh, humbly ask for your involvement on guardian guidance and uh, just a little interview of you per se and the vision and how uh, to go about what you want to go about i i i have a few looks books that i'd like you to see and then see how best you can uh, put our minds together to put out something similar okay. As for the question, question in here, I, I believe. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, first, I will say thank you very much um, for this opportunity. Thank you for thanking us. Yeah. Uh, students from African uh, University, of African of University College of Communication. Communication. Yeah. Right. And you are welcome to Utama, Utama Africa Limited for us again. So, um, we are more than willing to join us with you in creating this lookbook and whilst uh, we learn from each other. That's how it's going to be because I believe we, uh, it's going to be a proper discussion and we all share ideas and make the best out of the moment that we have. So that's it. We are welcome once again. Thank you. You, you already told us your name. Yes. yes. Um, first of all, we want to ask what inspired you to venture into the African, the whole African thing. Mm. Like what made you like what just what came into your mind? What came into yes. mind? For you to decide that okay, yeah, that's what you want to do. Yeah, I was challenged. I was challenged. I wanted to, I wanted to be relevant. Uh, I had, I had a, I had a, I had a business before which was into sanitation. We were trying to solve the sanitation problem. So by uh, the sanitation problem is a multi-stakeholder uh, project that you have to do. To bring many other people on board to solve the problem, we found out that we were not really on top of issues. We were a young organization and we couldn't say. And so, like a, a, a kind of fail. So, but I needed other avenues to still make it back. So, um, that time, the, I decided that I wanted to, it came into mind on a short trip. Uh, whilst I still kept myself around because there was a, a kind of frustration behind me. I was feeling a little bit of frustration at that time because uh, I wanted to uh, do something that will make me feel good. But from school, I always conditioned my mind to be an entrepreneur from the university. That's where the creation of the mind is like I conscientize myself, I want to become an entrepreneur. At the bottom of my mind, I know that no matter what it is, like I'm going to fight it out. So when it phased out, uh, I wanted to do something, I need to do something for myself again. So then, why even that idea came that I have to do the print, the African print eyes? When I was, when I, when I, when I was young, uh, my grandparents, they used to sell African print in Asafi markets in Wamehasi. So my mom was also selling uh, prints. So we have... Uh, they send us to market. We go there and we familiarize ourselves in the shop. So we had opportunity, grandparents sending us to collect maybe um, bracelets from someone, you know, like we were around the stuff. So fast forward, as now we've done six years of Utara. Now I can conclude and say that based on what uh, was young, what, what uh, the experience I had with my grandparents that unknowingly triggered the idea of the ties. I hope you get my point. Yeah. I hope you get my point. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you get my point. Yeah. Yeah. You get my point. Yeah. <laughs> because I didn't even realize it. But uh, as about some years now, I've done the business for some while. I got to know that, say, oh, say my grandparents were doing this. That's why uh, I had the idea of doing the ties with that company. Grandparents never thought of the uh, uh, the ties, but they sold African print. 
they sell, they use it for their clothes, they wear and all that. So I thought it may depend for why not try you know, because I also love ties. So that is where the whole African idea started from. So now we have the British High Commissioner to Ghana wearing our ties. You know, it's a big milestone. That's it over here. That's where it started. So now we've come, we've come for six years. We want to go that lane and really make an impact with it. Like you cannot make an impact and hold something for ten minutes. The thing with it, no one says that young businesses, young young men, uh, like youth, when we we are we we are creating something. You don't create something for you are just holding for maybe ten minutes or think of putting it for more than ten years. Mm. You understand? Then you have to like that's where a legend comes in. That's where you come so like you really know what you're doing. You get my point? Yeah, when you when 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 you stick with something for a long time or for for a longer time, you really get it like you can run your hand around it like more experience and stuff. Alright. So now I, I think I have given you a gist about how it all started. Mm -hmm. and you carry your fresh now. Okay, so we I yeah. we saw a picture of you. Good. I think Henry took some pictures of you in the Avocado. There was one that was really nice but personally to yeah. me. You were wearing the rough with some leather bag. Like, like, uh, let me say, probably going to the office. Yes. That's what it's trying to say. Yes. So I just want to ask uh, you if you see a lot of people think that the whole rough thing is a whole life, a lot of work, it will make you smart or anything. But then, do you have something otherwise to say concerning that? Concerning that. For me, why I did that, and Henry, 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 Henry gave that concept, that look with the vintage car, mm -hmm. and and that was exactly what I wanted to promote the prints to be to look like, because uh, I wanted it to look a bit Western, but still have a feel because. Back again, my grandfather, I stayed with him, with my grandmother. My grandfather never wears shirts, uh, he's always clapping. Yeah. Every time, every time, anywhere. So, it was imprinted in my mind already, I didn't even know. And still, based on the point of staying relevant. So it came at the point, I wake up at around 5 and I was trying to find something to do and with my bed sheet, I just clad my bed sheet and I was, I was like, at the end. So I clad my bed sheet and I was around like, I was going around the room and I was like, ah, this thing, like, can't we do something about it? And like, in a way, promote my grandfather and in a way, you know, make people also fall in love with the style of clapping the, the, the floor. So, how can we do that? We needed GTP on board to give us some plot. So GTP gave us uh, uh, 12 yards, two, well, 12 yards, 12 yards. So we did the whole Kikambomo thing and, you know, and, and we, we had a really good concept and uh, well, we had a couple of uh, pictures. So that's the idea. We wanted young folk, we are, uh, things has changed. So you want to feel a bit modernized, how are you going to do it? There's a point, I even did it with an Air Force, we were, we were, we were projecting another event here. So we wanted to do some picture, photo shoots. Okay. Yeah, so I even projected it with an Air Force and I wore a helmet in an African, oh, okay. well, you know, that idea. Now it has even, I've seen one of the black doing it. So, you know, it's all about the discussion the discussion is still centers around you see uh, the the the, the, the players 
when you go for events and they discuss about things and they talk about that's what the things that are going on. Okay, so um boss man, um, looking at uh, the mentality people have concerning you know traditional rap and African mm, rap mm, and African mm, print mm, and all what we have, mm. they feel like it's unconventional when uh, to certain places like mm. when it comes in mind it's like okay unless I'm going for a traditional marriage like an engagement or knocking or something that is where mm. I'll think of um, uh, these stuff. So now we are trying to modernize it. How, which, which, which places can we wear this kind of stuff? Top places that can that can add that value to it. So probably if you want to do a photo shoot, you can do a photo shoot at the top of hotels. I like the best. You understand? That can give it uh, the value that in, uh, in, uh, that that imprint. So you can send it to top places. Uh, we can we making it seem like everyday style of a, of a, of a young person or bit machine and normal. You you can cut it normal. Just about knowing how to do it so that you can do it easily. You can know how to fold it. Ah, any clumsy one. Huh? You know how to you know. You understand. How to handle it? Also, whom the way are we frana? Also, if you if you clad it well, uh, we have many types of cladding it. Uh, you it will be easy for you to uh, move around and handle it. I hope I answered the question. Yeah.